we got something very exciting to show you today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Fleur MR277, doing an unboxing, taking a look at the specs, giving it our own personal review, and taking a look at some of the reviews on Amazon. So what is in the box? So we have the device, the Fleur MR277 with lanyard that you can attach. It comes with the pin moisture meter attachment, a cap and another piece for the hygrometer feature. We have a bunch of different uh, converters for electrical outlets, so you can charge it wherever you need to go, along with some paperwork, which includes a quick start guide and a warranty, so you can warrantize, making up words here, on your device. So with the device on, let's talk about some of the specifications. The device has FLIR's MSX imaging, which is multispectral dynamic imaging. The device also has different thermal image palettes, which include iron, rainbow, arctic, white hot, and black hot. It has a pin moisture mode, along with pin moisture groups. You can group 11 materials together for different organization purposes. The air temperature ranges from 32 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit with basic accuracy of plus or minus 1.1 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a relative humidity feature. The range is from 10% to 90%. Basic accuracy is 2.5% relative humidity. It also can take into account dew point, ranges of negative 30 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius with basic accuracy of plus or minus one degree Celsius. So I'm gonna give you a quick example of the pin and pinless moisture mode. So at the bottom here, we have it plugged in it comes as a separate attachment. So right now we are on the pinless mode. So you can see it's picking up the moisture from the towel that this is on. But if I put my hand down there, it goes up high. We know it works. Now, if we wanna use the pin mode, we click the moisture mode, go on to pin mode. And now we can stab different porous materials, drywall, wood framing, and get a good moisture reading. As well, if you go into image mode and go over into, let's just say the digital camera, all of the psychometric data is going to be at the top. So if I push it, you can see that it is changing in the top left of that screen right there. Let's talk about imaging and optics. The digital camera is a 2MP 70.5 degree x 75 degree FOV. The display type is a QVGA 320x240 pixel 2.8 inch color TFT graphical display. The field of view width and height is 57 degrees by 44 degrees. The image modes include thermal, visual, and MSX. Image update speed frequency is nine Hertz. The laser orientation, single laser pointer to center the thermal image. MSX shows visual details on full resolution thermal imaging. So the device shoots and exports as a JPEG with an internal memory of eight gigabytes and the storage image capacity is about 15,000 images, which is pretty decent, I have to be fair. For power, there's an auto power off feature, which turns out in about 30 minutes, but you can program it to 5, 10, 20, or 30 minutes. The battery is rechargeable. It has continuous runtime of about eight hours max, and the typical usage is about four work weeks. Some more interesting things about the device is on Fleur's website, it has environmental and certifications. So it has agency approvals like CE, FCC, Class B, and RCM, but it has a drop test of about two meters, which is pretty sweet. The operating temperature is zero degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius, and the storage temperature is about negative 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. So you're pretty much gonna be able to put this thing really wherever you need it to be and it's gonna be okay and it comes with a warranty up to 10 years. Now, I didn't see that on my quick start guide, but I'll have to take their word for it. Some of the things that I really enjoy about this device, I'll give you three. One is having the psychometric data up at the top. It's very easy to be able to check the temperature, the relative humidity, and kind of keep the flow going while during an inspection. It also at the top can show the pin and pinless moisture meter mode at the top. Um, overall, the things that I don't like about it is the overall photos that it takes. Very hard to distinguish different things with it. If you're gonna be using this device, use your phone to take the photos, use this as reference. Now, the MSX display on the thermal imaging is fantastic. I've used FLIR's other devices, the little tiny one that kind of goes into the bottom of the phone, and the overall imaging on this is much better. 
as long as well you can go right into thermal so you don't have to distinguish the different colors i really like the thermal msx it shows a nice resolution of the surrounding environment as well as the color differences in the entire environment so you can kind of see what's going on the last thing that i really like is it has a flashlight built into it see that i was doing an inspection up in a crawl space and i left my flashlight down below and then i was like whoa there's a flashlight on it was able to see everything that i needed to see and i was able to complete my inspection if you're looking to purchase the fleur mr277 it's going to run you 1600 dollars, which i think is a very fair and affordable price currently the customer reviews is 2.4 out of 5 which i believe is pretty fair and pretty stands true so taking a look at three different customer reviews just at the top we have one which is a five out of five of great quality this product is a great asset to my business i do agree the next one is another five out of five which is a great camera for the money i don't necessarily agree with that i believe the camera is okay however where it really shines is the overall infrared image capture and then we have one that's a three out of five which does not detect water behind walls or under roof now if you know anything about infrared cameras, it's not going to show behind the wall. However, it will show on the surface of the material to let you know if it has cool spots, which will indicate moisture. It will not show you behind it, but if that drywall or porous material is saturated, it will be discovered. Okay, so that has been a review, unboxing, and spec overview of the Fleur MR277. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you've used this device, things you like about it or you don't like about it. My name is Jared Zikowski, and I hope you have a wonderful and a phenomenal day.